guys, good morning, good afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video, we are talking about the term. If you have been with us by now, you should be able to to know most of the questions or most of the things about teeth. If at all you have not subscribed, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and you like and share with the rest of the colleagues. The tongue is a muscular organ in the oral cavity. What are the functions? The functions we shall not go in details, but we have mastication. Testing. The function of test is because we have test buds. We have test buds on the anterior two thirds of the tongue. And therefore, that's the reason why we have a string of what? Test. We are doing of irritation. We are doing of speech. Those are the functions of the tongue. The tongue is made up of the apex, is made up of the root, is made up of the body. The apex is the part towards the apex is the part towards the lower anteriors. What is the tip? This is where the teeth are. What is the tip? The root. The root is where it is firmly attached down. Then the rest, what is remaining, is the body. And the body is made up of the dorsal part and the inferior part. The dorsal part, of course, is the superior part and also have what? Inferior part. The root, as we say, is attached to the mandible and hyoid bone. It is formed by the lower fibers of the genioglossus muscles and cannot be swallowed. This is the reason why the tongue cannot be swallowed, even in mastication, because it has a firm attachment of the root. <coughs> I can say this is the root firmly attached it is heavy it is vertical whereas the rest of the tongue is what horizontal the body this is the body we are saying the body is the dorsal part and the inferior part and on the dorsal part rather on the <coughs> body we have the sulcus terminalis, the foramen cecum, lingo papillae, lingo tonsil, fibrous septum. What are these? On our picture here, we shall learn that a tongue is made up of majorly two parts. The anterior two thirds of the tongue and the posterior a third of the tongue. The anterior two thirds of the tongue is formed in the oral cavity and the posterior a third is formed in the oral pharynx. So this anterior two thirds it is what is divided into two left and right by the fibrous septum, left and right by the fibrous septum. It is divided into anterior two thirds and posterior a third by sulcus terminalis or sul uh, sulcus terminalis or terminal sulcus. This one here. 
So this one is fibrous septum, this one is terminal sulcus or fibrous <coughs> uh, terminal sulcus or sulcus terminalis. Good. So we are done with this. We are also done with this. The anterior two thirds of the tongue, the anterior two thirds of the tongue is having or it has the function, it has papi or test buds. Ringo papi. This one from here to here. What is found in the oral cavity? It has anterior. It has test buds. The posterior heart does not have test buds. This one is devoid of test buds. So we are going to talk about the different test buds. But you shall remember that these test buds are only found on the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. <clears throat> Still, we are saying the dorsal surface is convex. What does it mean by convex? Convex means the tongue is convex like this. It is not in such a form. It is convex. Like you see my palm, it is convex, not having a depression here, convex. It's divided into two by the V-shaped sulcus terminalis or terminal sulcus. The anterior two-thirds and the posterior are third. The anterior two-thirds is in horizontal plane. Yes. That's what we are talking about here. The anterior two thirds is in the horizontal plane. This is the tip, this is the root, and they are saying this is the superior and this is inferior. The anterior two thirds, the anterior two thirds is found in the oral cavity, and this one is found in the oral pharynx. That's why I'm saying this one is horizontal. Uh, uh, the anterior two thirds is oriented in the horizontal plane, horizontal. Whereas the root, the posterior third, is the posterior third is oriented vertical. This is the vertical. This is the posterior third. Let's go to the papi. Papi, these are test buds. We are having the fill form. These ones are many of them. Fill form, many of them. They do not perform any function of testing, but for them, they are for appreciating texture. They have no test buds but for appreciating texture when you put food in the mouth even when your eyes are closed there should be a way of taste that is this a biscuit is this a yellow banana that texture the hardness we is by this food form we have the food form which is found around the margins and this is for testing sweet or salt. In an examination, you can always find this objective question. Sweet or salt. Variety. This variety can also be called circumvariety. Circumvariety, these are always 8 to 12 in number. 
arrange it around the sulcus terminalis. The sulcus terminalis is this line we say, which divides the anterior two thirds and the posterior a third. So because of fine of being around here, that's why we are calling them circumvalid, or so what valid. The foliate, which are always found in the, uh, uh, also on the tongue, they are for sour taste. So the valid, these ones are very important. They are eight to eight in number for bitter taste. Then the foliate is for what? Sour taste. So you shall remember fairy form. No test buds, texture. Fungi form, sweet and salt. Varied or circumvarried, bitter taste. Foliate, sour taste. Very important. Yes, so the tongue, as we continue on its surface, we have the tonsil, lingo tonsil, lingo tonsil, these are on the posterior part towards the oral pharynx, the tonsils are there, and the fibrous septum. We so say the fibrous septum divides the tongue left and right. So in brief, you could say the tongue is a muscular organ and you see it is made up of the tip, the body and the root. Then you say that for the body, the dorsum part of the, uh, the, the, uh, the tongue can be divided into left and right by fibrous septum divided by anterior two third and the posterior a third by the circum varate well, sorry by the terminal sulcus what do we have here we have the tonsils behind here in the oral what phalanx mm -hmm. We said another important thing that we have the test buds or the lingo papillae on the anterior two thirds. We do not have papillae on the what? Posterior a third. Continuing, we are saying on the floor, or, or, uh, we have the lingo. Frenulum. The lingo frenulum is just formed under the tongue, attaching, or we can say it is a fold of a mucous membrane, attaching the tongue to the floor of the mouth. Lingo frenulum. When we are in the overview, we talked about frenulum. We said we can have lingo frenulum, a line of foldings attaching the tongue to the floor of the mouth. We can have also the one which attaches the lip to the upper lip, which attaches the upper lip. That is superior frame ramp. We have another one, also the inferior what? Frame ramp, or labial frame ramp. So we, among those ones, we have also what? This frame ramp. I hope those who watched the first video we are able to 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 differentiate those what those different types of phenomena. We are also saying the surface of the tongue is keratinized. We are going to talk about different epithelia, but the keratin is because of the what of the function. So that is the tongue, a muscular order which can be made up, which is made up of the tip, the body, and the root. The body is made up of inferior surface, 
and superior surface. The superior surface is divided into left and right by the fibrous septum. It is now also divided into anterior two thirds and posterior a third by the terminal sulcus. We have the lingo uh, uh, tonsils inside here. We have this one, this point here. This one we call it foramen sicum. Very important. Then we also have from this area here to here. We call it oropharyngeal isthmus. Very important. This one is very important. Let's go to the muscles of the tongue. We have eight muscles. Eight muscles, four intrinsic and four extrinsic. What are the functions of this? The extrinsic muscles and intrinsic muscles perform different functions. The intrinsic, the intrinsic inside, they are formed within. They are confined within the tongue. And they are very simple to memorize. We can say superior longitudinal muscle, inferior longitudinal muscle. Very easy. You can memorize inferior longitudinal, superior longitudinal, then vertical and transverse. Nerve supply, also, the function is to alter the shape of the tongue. I hope you will be able to memorize them. Vertical, transverse, inferior longitudinal, superior longitudinal. Then we go to the function, just altering the, fun, the shape of the tongue. Then we go to extrinsic. Extrinsic, what are the functions of extrinsic? These ones are attached to the bone. Soft tissue, nerve supply, hypoglossal nerve. However, for one of them, it is going to be what? A vagus nerve. Paratoglossus. This one is important because it pulls the tongue upwards and backwards. Supply, and unlike others, unlike others, it is supplied by the vagus nerve. Remember the vagus nerve? One of the cranial nerves. Geniogrossus protrudes the apex of the tongue. Stylogrossus draws the tongue upwards and downwards. Hygrossus it depresses the tongue. Can memorize them? Paratogrossus, geniogrossus, stylogrossus, hyogrossus. The intrinsic, transverse, vertical, inferior longitudinal, superior longitudinal as simple as that thank you for watching this video we meet in the next please subscribe and share with the rest of the colleagues thank you